are you all doing? On this video we're going to be working on the diversion and we're going to be replacing the fuel pump. As you can see I've already got the uh, side panel off. I've also got the old fuel pump out. So now I've just got to take the seat off. I've got to take the tank off. I don't know if any of you remember but there was a leak on the petrol tank. Which I uh, repaired. But unfortunately it's leaking again. So I've got to repair the fuel tank and I've got to put the new uh, fuel pump in. Okay, so this is my old pump. Uh, I need to put a load of that sealer stuff around the join there, which I did in a previous video. But uh, unfortunately it started leaking again. All that just cracked away because the sealer was all the way over this ridge. That's all just picked off. So got a replacement fuel pump which looks a little bit better, not much better. So just gotta get these pipes off there and put them onto here. It's just a zip tie so I'll just cut that off. Hopefully that should pull off. Put that down there. Put that one back onto the bent pipe. Like so. Then we've got to get this one off there. Pull that off there. Screw that off there. Get a little clip. Put that back onto there. And hopefully I can force it back on. Here we go. There we go. Perfectly splendid. Now all I've got to do is fix it back on the bike. Okay, so that's the uh, pumping. Pipes are all connected. Just got to connect that one to the tank, but first we've got to repair the tank again. Okay, so this is where the tank has been leaking. So I have to say if it's coming out my patch or if there's another new hole appeared. I'll show you what a different camera. So let's clean all this off and try and uh, work out where it's coming from.
Okay, that's so it looks like it was coming from the same place as before, so that stuff isn't uh, very good, or either that or I didn't clean the area properly. But uh, these petrol tanks are like rocky horse poo, especially on eBay, and especially the green ones. So just got to give it a good clean up and uh, put another patch on it. Hopefully, it will see me through the summer. Okay, so I've cleaned it up the best I can with uh, some of this stuff. Uh, could do with a wire brush on it, really, with the drill attachment. But I don't want to create any sparks because you can smell the fumes coming out there. Uh, it's got a lint free, a lint free cloth, a lint free cloth. Uh, some paint feathers try and uh, clean any residue away from it. I don't think I did this last time. Hopefully now I'll clean it fully with the uh, paint thinners. To spray paint thinners. Hopefully the uh, petrol putty stuff will adhere to the metal a bit better. Time will tell, I guess. Okay, so I've found my stuff. Uh, last time I mixed this up, I mixed it up with my bare fingers. So I might have contaminated it, I don't know. So I've been up to the uh, bathroom and uh, found one of the wife's uh, air dye boxes. Found these inside. Ta -da! So if I can get these on my hands, I'll mix it up with these. Okay, so I was just going to cut a piece off with the scissors. I thought, well, what if these are contaminated? So I'm going to clean my scissors with some of this as well. Then hopefully, they should be contaminant free. Let's cut a piece off there. Okay. We can mix this up until it's the same colour. Okay, there it is, all the same colour. Let's stick it on quick before it goes hard. Press it into the hole. Okay, so that should do it. So I'm going to leave that for a good week upside down to dry. Okay, so now I want to test the fuel pump on the bike, but I don't want to wait a week. So I'll leave that there. And I have been taking a lawnmower to bits. So that means I've got a spare your tank. So let's use this to see if we can start up the XJ. But bearing in mind this bike hasn't been used since last November. It's now the middle of May, the battery's in May. So if it is flat, that means I've got to take this paddle off. T 
to get the jump back on it. Anyway, let's just uh, go for it. See if we can get some fuel into it without spilling it everywhere. for me Tommy right let me go and get the keys we've got fuel going into the uh, fuel filter okay let's put the keys in and uh, put the choke on Any charge in it? Oh my god! That is incredible. That's the same battery I put in this bike about three years ago. It's unbelievable. Come on, baby. I certainly don't want to start. Okay, let's just look the spot play out and see what that's looking like. So this is a few days later, as you can see. As you know on the last clip, the bike would not start. I took one of the spark plugs out. Let's check for a spark. So I went off to read the uh, workshop manual. Just say all the usual things like make sure the ignition is switched on. Uh, make sure the engine cutoff switch isn't on. Make sure your side stand isn't down and it's in gear. But the, what I checked first was low battery voltage. So, so I've charged the battery up for three hours. Uh, that was on Tuesday, so that's been standing there since Tuesday. Petrol tank's been sitting down there since Tuesday. It, it is now Thursday, the 18th of May. I think it's the 18th, somewhere around there. So let's get the bike out and. Uh, See if it starts up now. Right then, the bike's out. Let's get the battery in. Okay, let's put the uh, live wire on first. See what happens. Cross your fingers. Hmm. Still no spark. Okay, I've checked the fuses. They're okay. Okay, so I've come round to the other side, and lo and behold, 
I don't know if you're going to see it, but this one is sparking. But I have, off camera, I've just changed this cap, HT cap. See that? That side's sparking. Okay, so I've got a replacement spark plug cap for this one. So let's take this one off. We take this boot off. You can see inside there there's like a screw which actually screws into the HD lead. I don't know why I'm telling you that. You're all probably like me and you worked that out when you was 13. But anyway I'm just gonna put a bit off there so we've got some new wire. Like so. back into shape and screw the other one on you do have to quite you do have to press quite hard for it to screw in you know what it's like if you want a good screw you have to do it hard Spot plug back out this one, push it into that one. Okay, fingers crossed again. Will it spark? Here we go. Ooh. Nearly started, I think. Oh, yes walking now wet up back in there slightly pinch it up with the ratchet back and I'm thinking she's got a start <coughs> key on okay now it's started up does the pump work properly is there any leaks? So there you go, not sure how I got the spark back but uh, if you have any ideas please drop a comment. Not sure whether it was the uh, replacement spark plug cap or cutting that bit off the HT lead but uh, it's a bit confusing how I went round to the other side of the bike and that side was sparking anyway. But like I did say earlier I did take all the uh, fuses out and maybe that sort of maybe when I put them back in it got a better connection I don't know any ideas like I say let me know uh, the landfill bike I have not done anything to that at all due to the fact of having no money it is pretty hard paying utility bills for two properties uh, the other property is for sale but it uh, doesn't look like everything's going to come to an end until at least Christmas time so this is way out of the window 
at the moment. Yes, the dewey was off the road since last November. It is now creeping towards the end of May and the MOT ran out in April. And I still can't afford to re-MOT it. So me and the wife's got a load of stuff together and we're going to do a car boot sale on Saturday. Because we need petrol money to get to Arridge and back because the grass wants cutting. I need money for this because I've decided why it won't start is because the carburetors have got to come off and be cleaned out and uh, why the carburetors are off. I'm going to try and buy some new carburetors to manifold rubbers. But anyway, that's all in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, share or a comment. So yeah, stay well, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. just found a wheel bearing on the floor. See you in another life, brother.